Hi everybody, uh, we're back to go ahead and disassemble this uh, Samsung S4 Active. All the videos I've seen out there for trying to replace the LCD on this phone are not so great. Um, you can see we're missing a couple pieces and this phone is very dinged and, and beat up, so we're going to go ahead and replace the bezel as well as uh, the glass on this phone is my hopes. Um, but it looks like I'll probably end up placing the, replacing the whole LCD assembly. So a couple of tools are I need is a screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver. I use a dental pick and uh, a couple other, uh, like a guitar pick to help remove the cables and items out of the phone. I'm going to go ahead and remove the back cover off the phone first and go ahead and take the battery out of the S4 Active. Make sure you remove your SIM card and your micro SD card. We also need to remove all of the silver screws along the back side of the phone. Now this is the first time I've ever disassembled a, a S4 Active, so it may take me a few seconds to uh, take this phone apart. Getting closer, just a few more screws to go. Some of the screws uh, kind of get stuck in the back. They don't want to come out of the housing, that's fine. You can try to pry them out with a uh, pry tool of some sort or a dental pick. But it's not the end of the world if they don't come out. Uh, just make sure you don't lose them when you're trying to remove this little black uh, housing cover off the back of the phone. They seem pretty loose and they will go back and forth. I'll try to pry them out with a dental pick or something. Definitely don't want to lose any of the screws. Let's see if we can't pry them all out. Just one more to go. Alright, the next step is removing these four metal covers off of the corners. These house screws underneath them, and they're just kind of glued on. So using a sharper tool like a, a pin or something of that nature, you just go ahead and pry these up. And underneath it'll re uh, you'll see a silver screw, which we'll remove it here in a second. We have our four screws. We'll go ahead and remove these out of the rear portion of the housing as well. These screws just do not want to come out of this foam. Go ahead and repry the rear cover off of the foam. Kind of hangs up on the volume button. Um, if you just wiggle it back and forth, it should come free for you. Now to go ahead and reveal all of the items in the back of the phone here.
You see all of the connectors on here, uh, what we want to remove and just go ahead and pry up all the ribbon cables, this one here on the side, the top ones for the front facing camera and the proximity sensor, the 3.5mm jack and the LCD screen. You have this little wire cable connector we're going to go ahead and remove. See if we can't pry this board up and out of the phone. This held down a little bit. It seems a little tough to get out. There's a little bit of a, a, a portion of the board that's held in where the rear facing camera goes. It's got like a little bit of a clip so pulling it forward will help. So we have our long cord here, our long cable that goes down to the charging ports. The charging port does have a couple of screws, which we'll go ahead and remove. There's some adhesive that holds the charging ports and um, the connectors on. This little white housing will pop right off for you. We're using our spudger and just pushing it underneath the charging port board here, see so if we can't go ahead and get the adhesive off the back of this. Just wiggle it back and forth to free it. Use our dental pick here to see if we can get a little bit better leverage and going nice and slow with the dental pick if you're going to use something sharp making sure that you don't actually pierce any cabling I'm just trying to pry use it to pry upwards underneath the tape that's holding this down Now you want to be careful as the back side of this board here houses the buttons for the home, the menu, and the back button. Which is different from what you see on the regular S4 which is a ribbon cable. It's much more like the Galaxy S5 if you've ever watched that repair video. Pulling this back so the adhesive comes off. Go ahead and set that aside. The next thing that we're going to do is remove the cover off the 3.5mm jack here, a headphone jack, and go ahead and just pry it out. We do have a screw that holds down the bracket that puts in the front facing camera and the proximity sensor, so we'll go ahead and remove that off the phone. Once we've done that, if you just push the bracket forward, it'll go ahead and just slide right off for you. You can go ahead and pull out the front facing camera and the proximity sensor. There's our earpiece speaker which does have a cable that connects it. We're going to go ahead and pry the cable, the contact points upwards, being nice and gentle if you're using a sharp tool. Definitely don't want to pierce it, we just want to pry with it. Go ahead and set the earpiece speaker aside. And here we have the motor for the vibration, so we'll go ahead and set that aside and pull it out. This one does have some pretty strong adhesive that holds it down, uh, so I'm going to put my dental pick underneath and then pry upwards. And I can use that uh, to help me pry off the cable, the contact points, which hold this onto the frame of the phone. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and remove the LCD next, so if you want to watch that video, go ahead and hit the link in the bottom right hand corner.
If you need to get a new assembly, you can just go ahead and uh, follow the reassembly video. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.